Hey Dota fans, this week the Bet Boom Belgrade kicked off, but before we get to the standings and highlights, let's get through some news. Quinn Quinn Callahan stirred up some controversy this week when he made a degrading comment about an Eastern European country to another player. Gaming Gladiators tweeted and have reprimanded Quinn for his comments. Gaming Gladiator does not approve or agree with these comments made and wants to reinforce our commitment to creating a welcoming environment for all. Quinn has been formally reprimanded for the casual and inappropriate nature of his comments, and we will be taking the appropriate measures to ensure that these such instances are not repeated. Quinn later tweeted and apologized. I made a generalization of a bad pup game in the heat of moment, and I apologize for that and regret that. I am sorry to anyone that was offended or hurt by my words, that's fully my bad. Extreme Gaming announced a new roster for the upcoming Dream League Season 24 tournament. They have replaced Shin Q with Tian Ming and PYW replaces DY. Let's see how they would do in Dream League. OJ announced that they have officially signed 23 Savage and 9 to the Dota 2 roster. However, OG will continue to trial players for the future. Shad will be replacing 23 Savage in Dream League due to visa issues, and X Nova will be playing in position 5 as the trial. In Eastern Europe, Paravision has signed Bad and Noam, which is led by No One and Crystalis. They will be playing in Dream League Season 24. Over in Western Europe, the servers this week have been stuck on a loop, and Valve has yet to fix it. When players are queuing on the Western European server, they can sometimes get stuck on confirming match, and no accept or decline will pop up, and if the player attempts to cancel it, you will receive a penalty. Players are still waiting for a fix. Over to the Bad Boon Dacia Belgrade now. A lot of top teams have had their breaks and are ready to start a new year. There are two groups. In Group A, Tanju Esports, Bad Boon Team, Yakult's brother from China, Team Liquid, Mouse, and Talon Esports. In Group B, Team Falcons, Team Spirit, Aurora Gaming, Gaming Gladiators, Liga Team, and Nouns Esports. The bottom two teams from each group are eliminated. All games are best of two. After two days of group stage, in Group A, Tanju Esports leads everyone with a 6-2 record. Betfoon Team only dropped their first game to Team Liquid. Your Colts brother are 5-3. Team Liquid occupy the last playoff spot with a 3-3 three three record. Mouse and Talon Esports are the two currently set to go home. In Group B, Team Falcons are 5-1, followed by the new Team Spirit, 5-3. Aurora Gaming and Gaming Gladiators are both 3-3. Liga Team still has a shot to make the playoffs at 3-5. And, and Nouns are currently 1-5, seemingly ready to go and prepare for Dream League. Here are your highlights. In Group A, Bet Boon Team clawed back into the game against Team Liquid to split the Series 1-1. One one. Invoker's cutting Nisha, it. Nisha, though. He has buyback. All oh, these creeps have like 10 health. 20 seconds until your Bristleback. Do you have the time? Tornado trying their best. The throne, it's starting to fall. The Scythe comes out. They managed to find the Ricky for the moment, but they don't have the damage to finish him off. Miro's gonna pop the BKB. She the Templar the Assassin on the backside. She's got free reign. The throne's gonna explode, and that is it. That in Group B, Team Falcons 2 0 Gaming Glider is showing them that they still need some more work with their new care player. The Vortex on a two. Don't he's in trouble. They're gonna buy back on Doom. He's got the bots level two. He's gonna come back into the game. They get the kill on a Queen. He's got buyback as well. But Ace is dead for a second time. They buy back on this Queen of Pain. They go to the Doom. It's going to be onto this Luna. And they're looking at Watson and saying, what, him. son? You got nothing. Falcons coming in. They're going to clear it all up. They fought back on everybody on the side of Game of Gladiators. But they're going to try and fight. And they're not going to win it. They're looking. They're searching. But they cannot find an answer. As Celery's going to go to the jetpack. He's going to be doomed up again. It feels like it's just Doom all the time. Watson as well as this clockwork just need to watch as Watson's gonna go forward and look to get the kill here by the Bushwhack lands. They get the kill of this Luna, everybody dead. GG is called, Falcons take the 2-0 over Gaming Gladiators. Yep. And Amar in style sitting in front of their fountain. This man deserves to celebrate, celebrate that way because he did. That's all for this week. Check back next week to see who is crowned the champion of Bet Boom Belgrade and hopefully crown fall act four drops. Thanks for watching.